Okay guys, uh, welcome to part two of our tire carrier video. All right, we're uh, ready to put the tire on. This was by far the hardest back and forth was getting those where it would slide easily. Oh yeah. So. Crack. Mm. I think y'all got it. <laughs> <laughs> y'all did it. That looks good. Got a good angle to it. Poof. <laughs> just looks like it's just hovering there. Bluetooth space age. You just blue Bluetooth the. <laughs> the spec tire up there. We put a speed hole here so that he gained some horsepower with that, didn't he? We'll be able to do at least five mile an hour faster. <laughs> since you, since you that took that out. Weight savings. Yeah. That's going to make a big difference. That little. Just a little less drag. Yeah, a little less drag. Now, where's this jack going to go? how it looks so far i got the uh jack mounted and all i did on that was we drilled through the bottom arm um uh, ran bolts through i cut these little spacers out this one's probably easier to... it would be. <laughs> uh, i just cut these spacers out and just kind of tacked them together to kind of hold it level and even um <laughs> we got our latch in we went with the uh Desteco is the name of the company you can see that there. Um, 331. That's the one we went with. They make a 331 and then they make a 331 SS, which is stainless steel. But we just went with the regular one. It's cheaper. So, uh, what? <laughs> Shark puppet in a bullfrog. <laughs> Her name is Emerald and she's big. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, go get your, uh, the Wagoneer you built termite with yeah, Legos. Yeah, go, go get your Wagoneer so we can show that off. So, uh, I had LASIK done last Friday. It's now Tuesday. And I'm going through, like, a blurry stage. So, I can't, I don't I don't trust myself. I don't really want to be welding with my sensitive Avenger. Angel's not going to let me weld. She's nope. She's been policing me incredibly heavy this whole time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But uh, I called Dan. He's going to come back out today. I kind of called him and poor mouthed him and pity parted him. And, and uh, so he's going to come out today. Still, the only thing we don't know, and this is what we want you guys to comment on, don't know what color to paint this thing yet. Um, <clears throat> got three options. You can paint it with the steelet, the gray that the rack is. We could go with just a flat black. I've kind of thought about just cleaning it up and shooting clear coat over it and leaving it raw looking, you know. Just put a nice matte clear on it where it will still have a, a raw finish to it. I think that looks kind of cool. So let us know what you think because we are literally indecisive. We, we, I've bounced around all the colors. Where's the tent? You took the tent off? I know, we took the tent off. It's somewhere in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think I he built there. Termite out of Legos. He did. Show me Termite. He built him out of Legos. And he did have a little tent with a ladder yeah, and everything. Yeah, ladder and everything on. He's got the, he's doing the yellow lights like you want to do. Yeah. We're going to eventually do that. He's got the wood grain. He's got the tag and everything. Did a good job. All right, guys, before we cover everything up, just going to show you what we had built. These two are welded together. We got some spacers in there. We had to kind of pull it out a little bit. But, uh, grade eight's going all the way through. We welded 
angle iron under here to give us two more bolt spots. That's just paint splat. I hadn't painted it all yet, but um, it's pretty stiff. We got some flex. I can hold the camera still do it. But it's the flex is coming from this. This whole thing is kind of twisted. So we'll probably end up I'll probably end up coming off of this and tying it to the frame a little bit better to uh to support it. But that's all stuff I can do after the fact. So but that's what it ended up looking like underneath. You can tell where we had to kind of notch it here and to give room for the bumper to, to come in. It's just real tight. But uh it's all super solid. Just gonna get the frame solid. So here guys, so here's what we got. We took some of the leftover material from the uh, roof rack, beveled it to kind of fit the bumper, bolted it through the old bumper red holes, and we kind of got a little issue here with it sloped on us. So when it closes, we're gonna fill that in with a nice piece of wedge and then i just moved the other bumper it to the other side where i was missing it so it look nice we are nearing the end we've got our latch welded on there it looks rougher than it is it's got to be cleaned up still got to cap that end and we got this guy built welded on again just cleaned up a little bit and everything looked great the only issue was we had a little bit of play in the uh kind of in the in the back and forth driving it seemed fine it didn't didn't really even move going down the road but daniel and i both agreed needs some sort of rubber stop uh in the past vehicles that i've had always kind of had a rubber something there just to kind of support it so i had an old bump stop from the super b that was still in good shape cut some uh of the leftover material and this will just go it was just like the perfect perfect fit and that will weld right there like that and that would just give that top a little bit of support what you think <laughs> Weld it on there, like that. So we'll swing around. Move up. See if I can do this and latch it at the same time. There's that. Like very. Can't tell on the camera, but like very little. See if you can shake that, Judah. Good job. Yeah, it's solid. I ain't going nowhere. So that you can see just kind of offers a little bit of support up top. Just kind of keeps things solid. So there it is, guys. Just gotta paint it, or do something with it, and call it good. Right, guys so that's gonna wrap up our tire carrier build we uh 99 there just got a couple of odd ends we got a cap this end here that's not a big deal and then i gotta get the correct nut the nut that comes in the kit i don't know what happened to it i've had this thing for so long the nuts lost so this one fit the threads but it's too tall so i'm gonna run a tractor supplier somewhere like that Get a lower profile one so we can put the carter pin and the dust cap on that. Um, and then, of course, we still got to paint it, you know. So 
Like I said, comment, let us know, should we go gray, should we go black, or should we just clear coat the raw steel? Um, I'm kind of in favor of just clear coating the raw steel. You know, that's just me. But let us know what you think, because we're really indecisive on this. We'll keep going around and around about it. It's there. It seems solid. We went down the down the road and around with it. It doesn't doesn't wiggle, doesn't rattle or nothing like that. So until we see it flying off and bouncing behind us down the highway, we'll say it's <laughs> we'll say it's good. So um, I see one flaw. What? It covers our sticker. Oh. It says camping. Just from one side. Straight yeah. Right. So now it's time to go camping. It I'm, is. I'm tired of working. We're ready to go camping. I don't mind working. I do enjoy working on it, but then I also like to do some camping and stuff between. We're ready so. to go. So hopefully, we'll see. Next few videos, we should have a few day little camping trip. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. So anyway, guys. Um, again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends. Share these videos. Get to get the word out there. Whatever you feel like doing. Whatever. Uh, hopefully, my eyes will get better through the week, and <laughs> and I can get back to working myself. I I want to thank you to my cousin Daniel for being there and uh, really really helping me make this happen. He he was a incredible asset building this thing. So anyway, guys, we'll catch y'all next week. I need to come up like a... Let's just copy somebody's. We'll like see a... you down the road. No. <laughs> no. We need to come up with a, like a catchy closing. I can't think of anything. We won't say for sure we'll see you next week, but we turn might see you next week. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's like a dad joke built in. <laughs>